Because in Kalgoorlie, slang for anal is called mining for coal. Oh. <laughs> I'm a rapper from a small country town, so I can relate. He formed a little group with some friends and called it the Kalgoorlie clan. Were they dope? Well, watch me bust it from a little remix they did of Bring the Ruckus. If you want sex and bring the rubbers, Kalgoorlie hookers are fucking disgusting. <laughs> Even for a blowjob, bring the rubbers, Kalgoorlie hookers are fucking disgusting. <laughs> and <laughs> I gotta give him props on the birth of his first child. Something that I can't deny. But putting the delivery on a reality show, once again, that's something that he can't deny. It's the first time the midwife has ever seen a vagina so loose that bitches had to use their slip and slide. <laughs> and that's time. Make some noise. Yeah, this fucking dipshit cunt just risked this for his love of biscuits. So here's your starter. I prepared it fast, but it'll be a fair assumption of bears your father. <laughs> the main course will be laid forth with insane thoughts. Don't make faces or blame me if it's painful. If it tastes pork, it's a plate full of hate and it stays raw, so you made sure I wage war. His <laughs> mates saw me play God in a slain corpse, laying torn from the plain force of my claymores. <laughs> oh, paint walls, a brain sauce, and a chainsaw if your gang had a brave talk and came forth to complain, dog. <laughs> You want dessert? I bet you do. He'll go berserk to get to food unless it's fruit. <laughs> I hope I get this through. The chicks want to be seen with someone awesome and important, not awkward and boring. Who could for sure be destroying four enormous portions of raw tortoise and horse corpses before he gets nauseous from gorging and pours from each orifice. Oh, yeah. All of the history teachers be sitting and pissing in secret from the things that they've seen fit to teach the teens to believe it. From my speech to Stephen, I'm keeping them thinking, retrieving the pieces so you can see what I'm seeing. Even if I'm deemed a deceiver this evening, defeating my demons ain't a feat on my haven. I've beaten completely diligent feats like that Elizabeth Queen. I'll kill him with speech deliberately. <laughs> Don't have to be hitting him physically. Any sentiment this shit is seen, I'm betting this bitch ain't as sick as me. Mickey's bringing the symmetry lyrically to diminish and intricately finish him. Time! Next <laughs> Two minutes. Okay. We're, we're doing two, one now. Fuck, I thought we were going to be right inside. Someone, someone want to inform the host? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, let's go. Have a one. Just have a massive, like, third. All right, then. Look. Go, me. 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 He said my father's a bear, and I want to admit it. <laughs> Shit, rapper's my prey, and I'm here to eat it. Man, I was... You're playing yourself if you think that you're a threat to me, faggot. The only thing that can kill fatigue has Winfield written on the packet. <laughs> and yo, battling Mickey Cole, that's just rehearsing. I let him convert to Islam before this battle, so once I've killed him, he can have 75 virgins. <laughs> and then, when he gets to heaven, I'm gonna sit back and laugh. When he gets there and finds 70 dudes on their computers playing fucking World of Warcraft. <laughs> and I keep a picture of, of Mickey in my wallet, so when I try to fuck chicks, they're like, fuck me. And then I go, look at this picture. At least I'm not that fucking ugly. Oh! <laughs> and like a prostitute, he's wondering when my one minute's up. Because once that's done, Mickey Cole will get paid up and he knows he gets fucked. Yep. Time. <laughs> 
Yo, some bitches say Mick is late, rapping about smoking weed like it's dope it seems. I need a new load of dopamines to unload some doper schemes. He's so fatigued, I got this bloke in my scope and I'm a smoking clean. I do some wholesome things to one of the Olsen twins if she doesn't have a revolting minge. I'll poke a pinch while she goes through streams with the dopest Mick till she chokes on dick. Cause my bucket list consists of nothing but fucker bitch. But it'll take a hundred rubbers for me to partake in baking your mother's mutton muffin and making some fucking ruckus. I ain't baking tomato, but save it, but not to love it. Taking in the butt is the only way to make love to a bloody muppet. I'm the first tagging on your mother's fucking mother. I'm one of the only cunts dumb enough to have done it. Cause trust me, in a bed she looks ugly. She's heavier than a three-headed puppy named Fluffy. <laughs> this loser prick rootin' a stupid bitch will be like chucking a toothpick in the fucking super pit. <laughs> Like a toothpick is to a dude who is toothless. <laughs> His mummy called him John to get used to copping shit. And if that Scotty Punk is the sickest, then Mick has got to be the most intricate cunt kicking. And lyrically superior. No one's ever physically, just figuratively feeling you. I'm serious. You big kitchen bitch. <laughs> you zip your lips and fix Mick some chips and dip quick, you stingy prick. <laughs> Shit to me, bitch. You have a smidgen of skill, just the littlest bit. I'm sicker than sitting and shitting liquid on chicks. You riddle me this. Is this dinner gonna be a bit of fish and some chips? Chicken with dip? Or just a freaking shit on a stick? <laughs> and a little bitch when you're spitting with me. The wicked visions in my vicious written should be elicited as splits. While you're sitting there stiff, try to be a bit less of an idiot, bitch. Go to the gym and just skip. Begin hitting the pit. Anything to get a bit skinny as shit. <laughs> I own two cars. No, I'm not deserved. I own two cars because I work hard. You got a nerd past. Only posting pictures of comics. That's why this lonely prick won't find a bitch that would want him. And honest, I could end at this round with a knockout. Give him a few knees and a hammer to the chin. You'll see him drop down. But I'd rather win in all three by unanimous decision. Be like, what now? I was in the delivery room for his baby. I was in the delivery room for his baby, it wasn't nothing seedy. I saw him grab the baby and put it over his head like Rafiki. <laughs> and he said, look at me now. This is it, uh, evidence I get pussy. The boy's got to believe me now. <laughs> in front of your wife, but ask Mufasa, motherfucker, that's the circle of life. <laughs> and fuck being down to earth. I'm intergalactic, what can I say? I'm smoking DMT, floating through space with the spirit of my man, MCA. Yeah. So, I can't, I won't, and I don't stop. So I guess victory in this battle with Mickey Cole, it's got to be the sure shot. <laughs> and Scalpo said that I was so fat, I spill gravy. Well, yeah, I do. That's probably the reason his missus has had a roast dinner lately. <laughs> Cause he's bursting a fat cunt like Biggie But he'll be crying in the car back Crying like I'm going, going Back, back to Cali, Cali <laughs> And he had a mining apprenticeship He worked with his dad for two hours But he was getting behind His dad turned to Mickey Cole The last ounce of fatherly pride He had left disappeared into his eyes And Mickey Cole said <laughs> I've done a two hour shift, Dad. I'm done. And the Zoolander can't looked in his eyes and said, I think I'm gaining the black lung. This is my two minutes hunt, man. I feel bad. Cross to Mickey Cole. You're a dope hunt, but not compared to me, man. <laughs> Hey, yo, we're going around Mickey, let's go. Mate, I know people 
people say your freeze are great and all, but to me that seems to be debatable. You know who I don't rate at all? The Michelin Man. I'll make him wish he was dead. Tied up tight inside my fisherman's net. Spine expiring while I'm giving him violent kicks to the head. You might have missed it like I said, if you give this guy one wish he'd be deaf. But I feel awful inside. The fact that I've practiced to cause his demise. But you're lacking in stature. Can't match with the massive thoughts in my mind. You're not as awesome as I, and of course that is why. You meet and you're matching me. See, when I'm speaking erratically, I graffiti reality. If you think he has vanity, then what you're thinking's a fallacy. I'm on the brink of insanity. No belief in humanity, because what I'm seeing, it staggers me. She continues to baffle me, like the fact that he's managed to get a rap in this battle league. <laughs> practice the damage any faggot to challenge me. And I'm an amateur, damn it, but you have to see clarity. It's apparent this parrot ain't got the language as bad as me. Fuck. As it happens, this rap is damages faggot who looks like his daddy's name Hagrid C. Leading cuts amazing busting statements. Same when Buddy Franklin says to other players what he's bloody making. Yeah, Teachers, they told me to get ahead like someone famous. Chose Nick, Nat, and Nui, now they dreading it, I'm stranger. <laughs> I've learned the way to insert some flavour. The spice of life is dessert the anger. Add worth to day, but I'm certain this guy's wishing he could serve for Vader. First, you need a dietitian and a personal trainer. Yeah! Yeah! I just want to say that I've travelled 600 kilometres just to battle and get some acknowledgement. Because the worthless shit hip hopper kids are worthy of a proper diss. Words from this esophagus, it worsened the apocalypse, burning this horrid shit modern metropolis. Jonathan, we got a problem, bitch. Cause I might bash you. I'm happy battling, and me track is in a hat, but I'm a mat- <laughs> Fuck. I'm happy battling, but I'm a manic and me track is in a hat. When I'm unhappy, I have a habit of seeing faggots getting bashed. <laughs> I'm as pragmatic as the man, and as majestic as a highness. Fellas, I'm an attempt to define this. Rappers, we kind of like vaginas. Because you can find the slimy, hammered, wide and tight ones, and there's the shiny, hella nice and tight ones. We just saw Fatigue versus uh, Vicky Cole, yeah? yeah. Vicky Cole. Uh, Jesus. It was, a, it was a good one, man. Like, Fatigue came at him, but, like, I think he had a miss in the third round, so that it was all freestyle. And I think that's kind of where he went in, actually. I think his rings were, you know, a bit, a bit soft. So, man, I have to give it to Marky. Like, uh, Vicky Cole, Vicky Cole all the way, man. But, like, he had more, uh, his bars at the bar for bar. So much of a setup as fatigue dick, which would uh we would want that in a battle format, but uh yeah now Cole pulled off all the way, so fatigue Yeah, uh, I believe um fatigue might have slipped the last one because Mickey Cole had a stumble, but over structure, consistency of multis and consistency of flow, I'll give it to Mickey Cole. I also believe um that I, I personally believe that bar I go bars over jokes and fatigue was more humour rather than Mickey Cole was actually just raw bars, so I'll give it to Mickey Cole two three. Yeah. Um, I'm Yogi Bear, and I agree with Boom, like with, with all the humour and shit, and um, and like, yeah, this, this is what Boom said, really, uh, it's, it's, that's all good. Motherfucker in fucking Australian hip hop doing their thing. Without further ado, Judge King. The winner of the battle, Mickey Cole! Yeah! What now? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Press, the Press City, that we battle. Where the fuck you at? Welcome, welcome to Burn City, it's the home of Australia's prettiest titties. Where the fuck you at? <laughs> 